Good morning. Uh, today we're going to look at the entirety of John chapter 10. That combines today's reading and tomorrow's readings. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, Sunday, is Pentecost Sunday. So we'll have, uh, well, as normal, we have worship at 9 o'clock, Maple and Sutton, and 10.30 at Our Saviors in McHenry. Uh, 9 o'clock service will be live on here on Facebook. Uh, you're welcome to join us for that. Uh, and so uh, chapter 10 deals with, I mean, Jesus starts out talking about, I am the good shepherd, I am the gate of the sheep. But I guess first is, is I am the gate of the sheep. That's the third I am statement. And then uh, it's I am the good shepherd, which is the fourth I am statement. Uh, but in between those two, in verse, verse, verse 7, I am the gate. In verse 11, I am the good shepherd. But in verse 10, um, we have that verse that Jesus says, I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly. And I talked about that not so long ago in a sermon on a Sunday morning. So I'm not going to get into that an awful lot today. Um, but it's just this reminder, verse 14, Jesus says, I know my own and my own know me. And just as I know the Father and the Father knows me. You know, this is this is what Jesus says, is that as as well as Jesus knows God and God knows Jesus, Jesus knows us. And those of us who believe in Jesus know Jesus. And, you know, we we can look at Jesus and we can see the miracles and see and listen to what he says and and and, and, and come to trust and to believe that he is the Son of God. He is our Lord and Savior, the one that sacrificed himself for us. And that's what he says as this as this continues, just in every next sentence. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And it's uh, this, this image of the good shepherd and laying down his life for the sheep and everything uh, goes back to at least three places in the Old Testament. In Isaiah 40, Jeremiah 23, and Ezekiel 34, um, there's a references to God coming to his people like a shepherd, that being a shepherd. And, and, and also reminiscent of Psalm 23, where... I, <clears throat> Excuse me, I am the good shepherd. I mean, um, not I am the good shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I, my brain's really getting messed up. But, you know, so David, you know, refers to God as, as our shepherd, leading and guiding. And um, and so this, uh, this statement, these statements of Jesus talking about being the good shepherd, laying down his life for the sheep, coming to live among the people, be one of us, all you know, just fulfilling some of the Old Testament prophecies about Jesus. And um, as he's continuing, kind of at the end of this dialogue, or is, you know, when he's talking about being a good shepherd, he says, I have power to take it up and lay it down again, talking about his life. And then I have received this command from my father. And so Jesus is, you know, again, he's referring to God as his father. And verse 19 says the Jews were divided because of these words. You know, many of them were saying he's a demon and he's out of his mind. Why listen to him? And others say if he has a demon or if he is a demon, how could he do such great things? It's, it's got to be the power of God. And so there was a great division that came up. And, you know, and, and we read in the, in the Gospels too where Jesus says, you know, I have not come to bring peace, but I have come to bring division. And there will be you know, mother against son and daughter, and I mean, and all this division. And and so, you know, and I when I when we have that text in worship, I, I say, you know, it isn't talking about our families today and and you know difficulties or you know differences of opinions in our families, but it, he, Jesus is talking about believing in Jesus and not believing in Jesus is what you know brings about the division and and the heartache and, and that it, you know. It, He's, he's not foretelling that, you know, everybody is going to hate his or her mother-in-law or, you know, whatever. I mean, and such such untrue things that way, and they kind of get twisted and turned around. But, but uh, and, and this, these I am statements, this conversation about being a good shepherd and coming to give life and have it, give, give it abundantly is, is during the same time frame pretty much as the, as the healing of this blind man, born, man born blind, that talked about the last couple of days, 
Because the, some of the people say, can a demon open the my, uh, eyes of a blind man? You know, and so they, they understand that Jesus is more than just a man, but they're not unified in what he is, you know, and, and you know, there are, there are many deceptions shown to us by Satan, by the demons, by the devil, and and all of his underlings. You know the the lies and the subtle messages that they come with. Um, it, it's usually like when the devil first tempted sat Adam and Eve, and it was, did God really say? You know, just putting in that little question of doubt, and and but yet, you know, demons will do a lot, but. To, to deceive us, but very little to improve our lot in life. And then verse 22 says that at this time, the festival of dedication took in Jerusalem. It was winter. So this is a little bit later. You know, the the healing of the blind man was at the festival as booze, which was like September, October time frame. So now we've jumped ahead just a little bit in this chapter. Um, still in Jerusalem, again in Jerusalem and Jesus was, he says, in the temple, in the in the portico of, of Solomon. So there were, you know, different rooms. It's just like, you know, I mean, we have a, a living room, a family room, a bedroom, you know, different things. So there are different different rooms, different chambers. And and it's just, I mean, our church buildings too. We have we have our sanctuary, we have the narthex, and we, we have different areas, it's what you call that way too. And so Jesus was walking, and it says the Jews were walking and following him, and they asked, how long will you keep us in spence? If you're the Messiah, tell us plainly. And if you read these next few verses, I mean, well, Jesus' initial answer, I have told you, and you have not believed. The words I do in my, the works I do in my Father's name testify, but you do not believe because you don't belong to my sheep. And again, so he refers back to that, uh, sheep and the shepherd and the, and the flock and and then in verse 30 Jesus says very plainly to them that have asked in this conversation the father and I are one so Jesus answers he says if you're the Messiah tell us and, and then boom here the father and I are one and next verse the Jews took up stones again to stone him and Jesus you know, says well, what good works are you going to stone me for why why are you going to stone me? I mean, um, and he's and they say, well, it's not for the good works, but it's for the blasphemy of of saying you you and the God are one. You know, I mean, they just asked him, are you the Messiah? Yes, I am. Okay, boom, blasphemy. You're lying to us. You know, uh, sometimes you you tell a person a straight answer, and you know they, they're just not going to accept it. You know, it's just, it's not what they want to hear, not what they expect to hear. And so they they discount it, um, and as we you know reading toward the end of this chapter ten, uh, Jesus says to them in in verse thirty nine, the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Or that was thirty eight, and then in thirty nine it says they again tried to arrest him, but he escaped from their hands. And then as Jesus leaves Jerusalem and goes on his way. You know, many other people became, started to follow him and came to him. And this is, this is what they said. Uh, it's a part of their belief and trust. It says, John performed no sign, but everything that John said about this man is coming true. And, and so they're listening to John, the baptizer, and his, behold, the son of God who takes away the sin of the world. The one who comes after me will baptize with, with fire and the Holy Spirit. And, and we don't know everything that John the Baptist said about Jesus, but we do know that, that, you know, he pointed to Jesus as the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And this is what we truly completely believe that Jesus is our Lord and savior, son of God, who saves us from ourselves and our sins.